Mission Impossible 7, Tom Cruise's latest movie, brings trials and excitement to the world. The movie describes a key that holds the power to a very powerful AI that has the potential to control the digital space. This said AI can control everything from satellites to your home computer, even manipulate people's minds. It's so powerful that all powerful leaders around the world want it. It's the key to control. Although it is little known to the public, such a key does exist in the real world and it is very, very real. That power lies on the IP address, a unique number every device needs to be identified and connected to the internet. Just imagine how powerful the IP address is. Billions of people connect to the internet at the same time, yet all their devices can connect and find each other in milliseconds. It's a number that is assigned to your phone, laptop, and even your smart TV every time they connect to the internet. No IP address, no internet. What if I told you there are five keys currently held by five private companies that potentially have the power to take away the IP address from your device? At any moment, you might lose your access to the internet. Each of those keys has the potential power to turn off a continental size of the internet. Each of those private companies hold that power with little check and balance. You must think I am joking, right? No, I am dead serious. Bear with me for a minute. Let me explain. Those five private companies who run the central registration database for all IP addresses call themselves regional internet registries. Every IP address that lives on your phone, computer, and smart TV needs to be registered with them to guarantee uniqueness, or, in another word, to be usable. At the same time, they also provide a service called Resource Public Key Infrastructure, or RPKI for short. As the name suggests, Based on the registration database they have for IP addresses, they use a master key, though RPKI, to authenticate all IP addresses on the internet in real time. And each of them holds a master key, a key that can potentially disable a nation's internet at whim by simply revoking its signature to that nation's IP address. And it's all being held by very few individuals who are running the five companies. They potentially hold the key to everything online, from cloud to home internet, to large data centers, even essential services such as airports, hospitals, fire departments, ministries. They potentially have the key to disable all of it at whim. If that is too much power for a private company, wait until you hear this. One of those five companies, APNIC, concentrates all those power to one individual. One individual that has the potential power to shut down an entire continent's internet. Asia Pacific Network Information Center, or APNIC for short, is responsible for the registration database of all IP addresses. It holds master key of the internet in the Asia Pacific region. To many surprise, such an important public interest company is not an association. They are not even a registered non-profit with their host country's government. Instead, <gasps> they are, wait for it, a limited buy-share company with one director, one member of the company, and one shareholder who holds the only share. All of these assets and power is held by that one person, Paul Byan Wilson. He has just demonstrated recently he can change the entire bylaw of the company all by himself with a stroke of a pen. A single man who potentially holds that key to control the digital world, exactly like what is said in the movie. How's this even possible, you may ask? The internet was invented with a decentralized structure in mind. You can cut any network on the internet and the rest will still function. It's resilient, free, open to access. However, there is one thing the founders of the internet could not decentralize. A registration database that keeps everyone's number unique so machines can talk to each other. In contrast, blockchain, which was not invented for another 20 plus years, had to keep that registration database someplace and hire people to operate it. So those five companies we talked about here had a very innocent start. They were formed to solve a simple technical problem. But as the internet grew, the power to register every device on the internet naturally grew bigger. As later introduced, RPKI technology allows those five companies to hold the master key to their respective area of the internet. This is dangerously huge power. And just like in Mission Impossible 7, every powerful person on Earth, once they notice how power is within their reach, might want it all. That's how NRS was born. 
We are here to protect the vision of the founders of the internet. They wanted a decentralized internet. But they were forced to leave one huge vulnerability of the internet by leaving this one central point of power. Because of the technical limitations of their time, the founders of the internet inadvertently created a system that is vulnerable to power grab and dominance. But today, we have the technology. We have blockchain and Web3 that allow us to decentralize this simple registration database. Let every network hold its own keys instead of one master key ruling all. Let power go to people rather than centralize such power in a few corporations, waiting to be grabbed by some powerful people in the future. Act now, learn more from our crash course, and please join NRS and act with us today at nrs.help to preserve the free open internet for the next generation.